Okay, in this video we're gonna talk about how to power on all the things that you have plugged into your cabinet just using the built-in switch, the power switch. So we see all the, the screen will come up in a minute. There it goes. We have the LEDs audio amplifier and everything else that you can plug into a power strip we're gonna look at how to do that okay so this is how it looks like from the inside um, everything that is in this power strip will be uh, power on uh, when we switch the power uh, toggle the uh, on, on the cabinet uh, so the way this works I have an extension cord there, if you can see. And on one side I have the Raspberry Pi plug that always need to be connected. And then on the other side is the power strip. We're gonna pull one wire from the power strip that we're gonna hook into our power relay. And on the other side of the power relay we are connecting it to the Raspberry Pi. So the Raspberry Pi through the script will send a signal to the power relay, the power relay will close the circuit and will let the power go through the to the power strip. So anything that you hook into the power strip will be turned on at that moment. Uh, it will be switched switched on when the power uh, with the Raspberry Pi powers on, and it will be turned off when the power uh, when the Raspberry is turned off. So that way you can. I have right now. I have my LEDs. I have the the audio amplifier I have the LCD screen but you could you could hook any other thing I mean like a marquee or anything any other thing I have uh, empty uh, plugs there that I, I could use for something else so let's get right into it okay so now what we want to achieve is to every time we turn on the Raspberry Pi everything that is connected to this power strip will turn on and when we shut it down, everything will shut down as well. So here you can connect your uh, amplifier, your LEDs, any other thing that is not connecting to the Pi that we, uh, right now we have to manually turn on and turn off. And to do that, we're gonna use this one of this. This is a power relay, a five volt uh, power relay. Uh, so let's look at it in detail. Um, so on this side, well, sorry, on this side, we have uh, three connections. One is the NO for normally open, the common one, and normally close. The two that we're gonna use are normally open and, and common. That means that whatever we connect here, it will be normally open. And once we get a, uh, the signal and the, and the five volt uh, on this other side, it will close the connection. So it will feed the power to the power strip. Um, and on this side, this is where we're going to connect our Raspberry Pi pins. So we have DC plus, DC minus, and input. So on DC plus, we're going to put our 5 volt pin. On the DC minus, we're going to put our ground. And then on the in connection, we're going to put a, a, a generic GPIO pin. This is the one that we're going to control through a script. And when we send the signal, this normally open connection will close and that will provide the power to our power strip. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm gonna try to make a cut somewhere in, in the middle of the power cord, just enough so I can strip out the one of the cables. So you need to be really careful that you don't cut through the wires. So let's see if I can do this. Okay, so I can see the wires there. I have a white one, a green one that I think I cut a little, so I can I can fix that. That will be our uh, ground, and then we have our two lines: uh, the line, uh, the black wire, and the black wire. So I'm gonna pull out. I'm gonna cut a little more, and then take one of one of this. So now that I have this opening, it should be a little bit simpler. Uh, 
So in this case we have three wires here. Green is ground, the white one is neutral, and the black one is the line one. So this is the one that I'm going to cut, and it's the one that we're gonna to connect to our power relay. So uh, let me do that and I'm gonna pull it out and I'm gonna make sure that anything that I cut here uh, on the wires is, is protected. Okay, now we're gonna cut like a half an inch of this. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the wire inside the covering, the one that I didn't cut. Okay, so now that we have these two wires all stripped, so again, I'm gonna put them on the normally open and common uh, connections. Okay, I'm gonna use some heat shrink tubes so I can make sure that there's no wires exposed once I'm done with this. This connections are really, really small. So we're gonna use the normally open and the common one. Okay, that feels nice and tight. So I'm gonna use a heat to close this to make sure that there's no wires exposed that could make contact at any point in time. Okay, so this is how it looks like now. And now let's wire uh, our pins. So this is how it looks like now. We have our pin, GPIO pin, our ground, and our five volt. Okay, now we need to find pins to connect our power relay. So we say we want it, and I have here my Raspberry Pi with the power button and the volume button connected, just to make sure that we don't uh, use one pin that is already been used. So we need a five volt pin, that could be two or four, I think I'm gonna use two. I need a ground, uh, a ground pin. That could be number nine, for example. And then I need a GPIO. This can be any GPIO. So let's go with, I think I'm not using, yeah, let's go with 22. So just make sure that you're gonna need, again, three pins. One is for your five volt power, it can be any of these two. Gonna go with two. Then you need a ground. Again, you have multiple options. You have this one, this one, and any one that is ground. I'll make sure that once I start connecting the, the, the wires, uh, they, they have enough room. And then one of the GPOs. Right now I'm using 16 and 18 for the volume. So I'm probably gonna use 22 for this one. Let's see if that works out. 
I have my power relay here. I don't have anything plugged right now and I hope when you're working with this you don't have anything plugged. So my power line which I have on the black wire, I'm gonna put it on pin number two. Then I'm gonna use one ground and I say I'm gonna use pin number nine. So if I count from the top is one, two, three, four, five. So I have one, two, three, four, and five. So these two will give the power. Now the one that we're gonna use on our script is the GPIO. So this is the one that you need to remember uh, when it comes to, when we get to writing the script that's going to send the signal and power this thing on. So remember this pin number. And I say I was going to use 22 and that will be the 11th, uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11th from the top. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Again, make sure that you double check all the pins and remember to, at the very least you need to remember the pin, the GPIO pin number, but it's good to have the reference and to have, uh, to make a note of each one of those pins that you're using. So that's all from a wiring perspective. So now let's uh, go to the script. This is the easy part of the whole process where we configure the script that is going to send the signal to the power relay and have everything happen from there. So you're gonna go to my GitHub um, repo. I'm gonna put the description, the URL in the description. So go there and you're gonna copy this command. You might be familiar already with this command because if you saw my previous video and configured the, the, power, the initial power settings and the volume switch, uh, this is the same script. It, and you can run it again as many times as you want. I mean, it will, it's smart enough to identify if you already configured something. So let's copy this uh, command again. And now I'm going to my terminal to connect to my Raspberry Pi from my, I'm, I'm working on my laptop and I'm going to connect to my Raspberry Pi, which is connected to the, my low network. And that's the local IP. Again, default password is Raspberry. Oh, since I didn't type it well. Okay, so now I'm connected to my Raspberry Pi. I'm gonna paste that command, press enter. Again, it will try to install uh, prerequisites like uh, the libraries for uh, Python libraries to control the GPIOs and all other stuff. It might take a while depending on your internet speed, connection speed. The script identified that in this Raspberry Pi, I already have configured the power switch so I can turn on and off the, the, uh, the arcade cabinet and also the volume switch. Now it's asking me, do you want to configure the power relay? And the answer is yes. It can be lowercase, uppercase, doesn't matter. Any other key will skip the process. If you did do that by mistake, uh, don't worry. I mean, just run the script again. So I'm going to say yes. And it's going to configure that into my Raspberry Pi. The only thing that you need to do is if you are not using the default pin, which is 22, then you need to make changes into your, your config ini file. So let me show you that. So we have an arcade one up directory and I'm going to open that file, config, config.ini. And this is where I can see the other settings for the other functionality, but this is the relay pin. So this is your GPIO 
pin that you uh, use in your Raspberry Pi. So the default one is 22. Uh, if you're using a different one, just change it here, save the, the changes, and like instructed here, you just need to reboot. Once you reboot on startup, uh, the script will be executed and it will send the signal to your power relay and power relay will let the power go to the power strip and anything that is connected there it will start it takes a few seconds after the raspberry pi starts so it does, they, doesn't start immediately it's just a few seconds after your raspberry starts uh, booting okay so let's reboot and you will get kicked out of your session because now your Raspberry Pi is rebooting and that's it. Uh, it should work. If it, this doesn't work, let me know in the comments um, and I'll try to help you out. Good luck.